do my AM check, which is basically seven o'clock. Gotta get out there, check the iron ranger, they call that, cause where people deposit money. Then after the iron ranger, go in the desk, get the clipboard and check, and then drive around to make sure that everybody that's in their spots in the morning early are next to the number on the clipboard. That means they got reservations for the night and I have to drive around, check those vehicles that came in last night with reservations, put a ticket on their window or a note says, please go to the front desk and register. Then after that, I just drive around, make sure the extra vehicles, those kind of things are all taken care of. Then when I'm done circling the park, 138 spots, bring it back, clipboard back to the front desk, and then the desk takes them and logs them in, does whatever they can. So let me get up, wake up, get some coffee. In. That sunrise coming up, baby. Beautiful. doing I'm not bothering your nest I'm just getting the money sorry It says uh, reserve, but nobody answered. So you put a V. 
Next stop is morning routine I didn't realize it took me about an hour to do that usually pretty quick god I'm just all messed up this morning so we got the morning routine around it's about eight o'clock right now let's get going do some maintenance around here clean up some pads make sure everybody's happy and then uh, get to work so let me tell you guys I don't get up early a lot during the time when I'm back home and in port <laughs> but uh when I do get up early, it feels so much better. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Right, guys now this is a motorhome oh yeah nice pretty much what happens you got to clean the pads off these guys when they come in see all the leaves on the pads dirt on the pads just got to get them all cleaned up this one's not bad, so it's going to be pretty easy. Or... Yeah. She goes loop cleaned from the entrance all the pads except a couple of pads those guys were in I cleaned around them there you go let's see what smell he's doing Santiago what are you doing buddy huh you over there Thanks for all the help. I appreciate it, okay? Come on, let's go party. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, good boy. Let's go, let's go party. Come on, jump, you can do it. Boom, good boy. Wow, you, you're tired? I know you worked so hard today. Let's go for a walk. Well, he's saying, hey, this was my place. This is my place. I was here before you. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. He's, cute. he's so cute. My God. Oh, my God. And the so babies cute. are like this big. When they have them. Yeah. Guys, it's noon o'clock, extra vehicle time. Noon o'clock, meaning we check all the spaces to see if... Uh, all the vehicles are out by noon, campers out by noon, and then we check for extra vehicles in the spaces. People have to pay $10 extra if they have another truck or a vehicle in there other than the ones they're camping with. And then like, you got a clipboard for me? Kind of go through, make sure everybody is out of their space by noon. So let's uh, do this. Let her know. Okay. 
take it up to. All right, thank you. Nobody trouble except one guy, he was leaving. He had to move to another spot, I guess, or something, but everybody else is in. You know what I think is cool is these, uh, these hike and bike spots. People travel from Oregon to San Diego. They come, you know, and they want to stop at a state park. They can just pull their bikes over and they have little places. There's only two hike and bikes here and they only pay 10 bucks, but I like being out in the back of this uh, last loop here. It's nice and quiet, all the big trees compared to these loops here. They're all open, real close to each other and uh, a bunch of people. Too many people. Too many people. But uh, yeah. Now that's camping, guys. How you doing? How are you? Good. Whoa. 